remember the teacher in Batley. I mean, we all, I have to say, probably remember him. Uh, an Islamic charity has now been formally rebuked by the charity watchdog for so-called inflaming tensions and risking safety because they named the teacher at the centre of all of this. This was the Batley Grammar School, of course. Um, I'm talking about the Purpose of Life charity. They put this name into the public domain. Obviously, I'm not going to name that person. Uh, Joanne, your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, I think many of us have looked on completely aghast at this story, that this could happen in Britain now, that a teacher uh, is essentially hounded out of his job. He's lost his, uh, he's lost his living. Um, but more importantly, he and his family are now having to live under um, a police, um, con a constant police guard because their lives have been put in danger as a result of this. Um, and the, there's been one sort of small um, outcome, it's not sufficient in my opinion, but it's better than nothing, which is that the Charities Commission has severely rebuked the charity involved um, in leaking or, or putting into the public domain this poor teacher's name. Um, now, it may not be a sufficient um, it may not be a sufficient punishment, if you like, for the charity, but it does show that uh, there is at least some sort of recourse um, when this kind of thing happens. But it's completely disproportionate, I think, to the problems faced by this man and his family. Um, and it seems that nobody wanted to discuss this matter during the recent Batley um, and spend oh. by-election. No, it oh. uh, it's gone very much onto the back burner as an issue. Uh, so I was just pleased to see that, you know, there, there has at least been some follow-up from it. Oh. Yeah, and I've got to say, what's, uh, what got me frustrated, one of the many things that got me frustrated about this story, is the pretty much silence of the teachers' unions. I mean, you've heard them so loud and vocal, oh. desperately concerned about the safety of teachers during COVID, but when there's a teacher that's getting death threats... Uh, where was their, the union's desperate concern about the teachers' well-being there? Because I've got to say, I didn't seem to hear it very loudly, uh, that's for sure. But anyway, get in touch and let me know your thoughts on that.